People in the world today look at Christians like we're out of our minds. We are witnessing the collapse of the economy of most countries, but we still go around saying, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. But as world events unfold, people will increasingly become aware of the authenticity of the words of prophecy. Hi, my name is Jeanette Trost, and I would like to introduce you to my mother, Nelda Larson. Our book, Only His Sheep Will Raise Their Heads, centers around an Old Testament prophecy establishing a period of time God allotted for Israel to finish transgression and bring in everlasting righteousness. John 10:1 says, I tell you the truth, the man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber. Jesus calls us his sheep. Have you ever tried to define to the world how you know that God spoke to you? They think you're nuts. They don't hear his voice because they are not his sheep. People today are looking for someone to come shape up the chaos that is there, but that won't occur until the Prince of Peace comes, and then this earth will have peace. In Daniel chapter 9, Daniel was given a prophecy. Without a proper understanding of Daniel's 70 weeks, the rest of prophecy makes very little sense. It leaves things open for questioning. We don't want to question or go into speculation or guesswork about prophecy. We are going to take it as it stands and compare it with other scriptures and see what Daniel was discussing in his vision of the 70 weeks. While we are told that we will not know the time of the end, God obviously wanted us to know when the time of the end was getting near. God knew that it would take a few signs to wake us up and remind us that we still have work to do. We have seen the return of the Jews to their homeland. Therefore, we know by the word of God that Jesus is coming soon. How soon? We are not to know. The beginning of birth pains and the signs of the times should have the same meaning for all of us. It should motivate us to witness to as many people as we can in the time that we have left. When Jesus gave the Great Commission, he told his disciples to be disciples to all nations, bringing the message of salvation through Christ to all people.